Hey everyone, I had a client bring in a ninth generation Apple iPad with a 10.2 inch display and a cracked front glass and they wanted me to fix it. So the first step that we're gonna take is you're gonna take some sort of heat and apply it to the front glass. This softens the adhesive underneath the screen, making it easier to remove from the iPad itself. I'm using a heat gun, but you can use a hairdryer as well. Um, and then I'm using iFixit's anti-clamp, which are two suction cups that you clamp together and then you pull away from each other and it will lift the screen off just like this. And that allows you to get underneath the front glass and cut away at that adhesive, allowing you to pull the screen away from the iPad itself. Now, you don't have to use the anti-clamp. Most kits that you purchase online for replacements for these front glasses, they're gonna come with some form of suction cup and that should work just fine. Although I should note that if your glass is cracked all over, a, a suction cup probably isn't gonna do the trick and instead you're just gonna have to make sure that you heat the screen up pretty well and then you're gonna to wanna to go in there with like a razor blade or some other pry tool and see if you can just pull the glass away from the adhesive and away from the iPad. So as you can see here, I was having a really hard time with this chipped corner up in the top left and that's what I ended up having to do is I had to go in with a razor blade, kind of chip it out and then I went in with these very sharp, very pointy tweezers and I just started to pry underneath the actual adhesive. And it was coming off in little chips and little chunks, um, which made a big mess. And so you're not gonna wanna do this with like little kids around or anything like that. Um, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have a, a pretty clean space that you'll be able to clean later and uh, pick up all of the glass from because it gets absolutely everywhere if it breaks this way. So I was finally able to pry underneath the adhesive, pull all of it away. And as you can see here, I'm finally making some progress there. You're gonna wanna be careful up at the top here because there is the front facing camera and you don't wanna damage that. And so just make sure that you're, you're going pretty slowly and you're being careful not to damage anything else. But once you have that, you can see that I finally pulled it all away there. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove a little bit more adhesive here before I uh, continue working. And I've removed just about as much as I can. Okay, so for this next step, what you're gonna do is there are four little screws, two down at the bottom of the screen. I'm just using a triple zero Phillips head screwdriver, two down at the bottom of the screen. This is the actual LCD, and then two up at the top of the LCD. However, the two up at the top of the LCD are hidden under little pieces of tape. So you're gonna wanna take tweezers, pry away the tape that goes around all of the screen, and that will reveal the little screws up at the top of the display. They're all the same size, so you can group them together, but you just take out those screws you set them aside and then pry from the corners to prop the screen up you're going to tilt it forward towards you um, and you're going to want to pry at the corners because that's where the metal is you don't want to pry at the middle of the screen because it's likely that you'll crack the screen that way and that's a much more expensive repair so um, don't do that then you remove this bracket again all three of those screws are the same size so you can group those together and then you're going to unplug the lcd and set that aside this is the easiest way to do it to make sure that you don't damage the L lcd and then you're going to remove the other two ribbon cables that are attached to the screen and then this one along the bottom, which is routed kind of up and away. That has a ribbon cable that's clamped down, so you're gonna flip the clamp up and pull it away. Then what I'm doing here is I'm just gonna go ahead and clean as much of my desk as I can. Just taking up these little bits of glass here. Um, and then I'll come in with a little handheld vacuum. That turned out was not actually super effective. So you'll see here that, you know, I come at it with the vacuum and it's not, it's not super effective. I decided I would just try, you know, wiping it with my hands to see if I could get any of that glass dust. And then it stuck to my hands. So then I had to vacuum my hands. Don't do this if you're not wearing gloves. This is another good reason to wear gloves when you're working on a device with a cracked screen. Um, so don't do this if you're not wearing gloves. Um, yeah, at least don't wipe it. And I'm gonna use a microfiber cloth to wipe the LCD back off. You don't want anything on this LCD because once you reattach the LCD and you put the front glass on, everything that's on that LCD is going to be on there permanently because you're not gonna be able to get under the glass to clean it. So you're gonna wanna make sure the LCD is super, super clean. I use a microfiber cloth. And then there is a protective film on the underside of this screen. I kept trying to pry at these corners here and I kept getting these little, uh, the little copper wires going around. I didn't end up damaging the front glass, which was good, um, but I did 
check and confirm that there is in fact a little protective film there. And I finally found it down here in the corner. I was able to pry it off. That's gonna be something you're gonna wanna make sure to remove. It's easy to miss. So be sure you remove that before you reattach the, the LCD. And then everything else has these little adhesives on the flux cables themselves or the ribbon cables themselves. And you're just gonna wanna make sure that you remove those and then position the cables correctly. For this one going to the home button, you're gonna wanna make sure that that lines the bottom there. And then there are two on these other ribbon cables. You'll take off the uh, adhesive there and then you'll press them down against the digitizer front glass itself. Then you're just gonna wanna do everything that you just did, but in the reverse order. You're gonna attach the little wires um, and uh, these are actually really finicky. I feel like a total failure when I'm working on these iPads because reattaching these cables is just a total pain. You can see I'm still working on one and it took so much effort and so much time. This is sped up five times of what it actually took me to work on this iPad. So this little 20 second clip of me fiddling with the actual cable took somewhere in the ballpark of like five or 10 minutes. It was just absolutely ridiculous but i finally got it in i was able to get the two cables buttoned down there and then what you're going to do is you're going to hold it open and you're going to reattach the lcd so again you have another finicky cable you're just going to want to hold your hand in l bracket over there on the right and then reconnect the cable that way um, i had taken the battery screw out you're supposed to disconnect the battery when you work on any sort of device um, but i left it in because that battery is a pain to disconnect especially if you don't have a special tool to do it for you um, and then these this is probably the hardest part is making sure that you can bolt back in or screw back in the little brackets because the screws are very very tiny and you've got to hold the screens up with one hand and screw it in with the other so if you have somebody that's willing to help you hold the screens in place that's really useful but i didn't have anybody that was uh, doing that for me um, or at least i just forgot to ask my wife to do that but that can be handy to have somebody around to do but i was able to do it myself um, took a little bit of time and effort but I was able to do that. So then you're gonna wanna push the screen down at the corners again. Um, it's a really tight fit, so you're gonna wanna be very gentle, make sure you don't crack the screen. And then you're just gonna take those last four screws and you're gonna screw them in in the corners. Again, they're all the same size, so it doesn't matter which one you put in which corner, but you just take those screws. Don't screw them in too tightly either because too tight of a screw or too tight of a, of a torque can go ahead and like it'll crack your screen. So be sure that you don't tighten them down too too tightly. I wiped off the LCD there. Um, I don't know if you caught that. Very important before you put the glass down. And then here I'm peeling off the adhesives. There's one on the back here, really tricky, but you're just gonna peel that off. You put the front glass down. I actually flip it over to press it down to make sure that everything's in there really secure right here. I flip it over, press it down, and then that's it. You've repaired a ninth generation iPad. Be sure to like and subscribe.